Good evening. Hey, what's up? This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in rainy, cloudy, but absolutely very flat ocean, Lauderdale by the sea. Got the live LBTS cam up here of the uh, LBTS pier. And if you would take a walk straight down this pier, uh, <clears throat> as soon as you hit pavement, walk about another three blocks, I'm on the right hand side. Uh, what a beautiful evening out there. Not a soul on the beach. That's because it's just been raining cats and dogs all day long we've got nothing but storms the last week or so but this is typically our rainy season right here and uh, quite frankly for all you Floridian folks out there that are not familiar with it we are in our uh, hurricane season uh, boy what a day for me uh, a couple reasons uh, roof leaks I finally got my AC kind of situation uh, wrapped up gonna get a new AC unit put in uh, but started a roof leak with all this rain, so I've been dealing with that today. Not only that, my front tooth fell out. Do you hear me like going, f f <laughs> uh, You know, a couple of years back, I had some cosmetic stuff done on my teeth, veneers or whatever the hell it is. Last night, I'm chewing on a piece of hard candy. This, this sucks when you get old, man. For you young folks out there that still don't have to worry about this kind of shit. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm making noises here, so <laughs> forgive me. <laughs> Anyways, I'm having fun with it. Listen, I was a little like, I, the tooth fell out. I'm holding it in my hand. I said, God damn, I spent a thousand bucks for this. I mean, you know how expensive dental work is, like cosmetic work and stuff like this. I'm looking at this thing. I'm saying, thousand bucks for this goddamn thing just fell out. This thing was supposed to outlast. And my dead body was supposed to be nothing but skulls and bones. And this thing should still be in my fucking head. Excuse my language. But <laughs> I like uh, I sunk my head down low, looked down, started to get a little uh, upset about it. And I said, you know what? Shit happens. That's the worst thing that happened to me this week. God damn, it's better than the best thing that happened to some people in the world. So whenever you think that uh, things are... <laughs> whenever you really like get things that like get you down take a look around the world folks you got nothing to get down about trust me well yesterday's video um, I think uh, some of the Wall Street uh, uh, silver guys thought I was doing the clickbait but you know what if you look at yesterday's video and you look at my uh, uh, title and I want to talk about titles I want to talk about YouTube titles and how they reward uh, views and all that stuff I mean I'm kind of I'm two years into this and I can tell you one thing is that YouTube does not does not reward anyone for good content I don't see how they could do it physically anyway uh, algorithmically or anything like that but they do not reward people for good content you know what they reward people for is is <clears throat> two things is that you're able to hang on to your viewership and uh, pe when you start talking that people uh, you know watch a certain amount of time and fortunately for me I've been able I've been a real gabber so I can just keep my mouth uh, <laughs> like a machine gun going and uh, think about things to talk about <clears throat> so my viewer time is pretty damn good uh, but I, I'm so reticent about doing titles that I consider clickbait. Yesterday's title, a little bit clickbaity, I gotta admit it. But you know what? You cannot get viewed. You cannot get your stuff looked at unless you do. It's fucking stupid, I gotta tell you. I've done some videos where I thought, like, after I did the video, I said, God, I just passed along the greatest wisdom in my uh, 40 years of doing the silver business and doing this business. You hear me? <laughs> My tooth is, but anyway, 40 years of doing, uh, uh, 40 years <laughs> of doing this business. I've, d I've done some great content. I've, I've told my uh, video editor, Marcelo, oh, Marcelo, I knocked it out of the park, man. It was smooth. I talked about great content. And because I didn't do the right title, it, it just sucked. So, you know, if anyone thinks that YouTube rewards people for good content, they're full of, you know, they don't know anything about YouTube, number one. YouTube rewards you for fucking clickbait, all right? Hate to say it, very true. Uh, clickbait titles, uh, YouTube rewards you for also length of time of videos. So fortunately for me, uh, the reason that my videos have done actually not too bad is because I've got length of time on watching. When, when someone actually clicks my videos and watches it, and, and you know what, I hate to talk about me, 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 but you know, the clickbaiting thing has come up a couple times, and I think it's important for all people that haven't done YouTube videos to know this, is that YouTube doesn't reward you for good content. It rewards you for clickbait titles. It rewards you for uh, viewing time. Uh, again, which I've been fortunate to have good viewing time. When someone actually 
watches my videos, they kind of, they watch it for a little while. <clears throat> And I don't blame them. I, I can sit here and blab for 30 minutes and make a fool of myself. So, <laughs> uh, But clickbait. I wanted to tell you that if you ever think that I've been guilty of clickbait titles, um, uh, I have. But it, the only reason is I'm trying to increase the amount of people I'm reaching out there. YouTube sends you little messages saying, listen, if you just improve your, your title, you just improve your thumbnails, you'll, you'll increase your viewership. And I'm thinking like, well, you know, Based on uh, evidence that I have, the only way to increase your title is you use fucking clickbait type titles. So if you ever see me using a similar clickbait title, um, realize it's to get more viewers, more people to watch, and more people to understand what you and I have been talking about for two years, the, the manipulation mani the, uh, the manipulation of uh, precious metals. Precious metal. Sorry about that. I'm having fun with this because I've never had a tooth missing in the front of my face. Uh, face. <laughs> oh, you can see I'm having more fun. But anyway, clickbaiting. It really clickbaiting headlines. It's out there, man. It's out there, and I think even your 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 most favorite YouTubers uh, get stuck doing it. Uh, only reason is because that uh, uh, the YT algos reward such kind of bullshit. But. If you watch my videos, some of my lower view videos have been my best content. It's just, again, it's a catch-22. Let's talk about, <clears throat> speaking of catch-22s, let's talk about gold and silver markets. <laughs> oh, make sure I don't hit that button. Uh, I've done it for not. Um, <clears throat> I was kind of surprised to see a, uh, a sub-$22 level, but not really. They're not done knocking the shit out of this, folks. They're mm -hmm. not done manipulating this market. It's the Crimex CME group has not done anything to stop this particular type of manipulation that happens primarily in the silver markets, but gold markets as well. Uh, they allow it to continue, continue. This is how you know that society, your economic system, your uh, uh, political system is degraded into just uh, uh, headed to hell, hell in the handbasket. That's basically the truth of the whole matter. And uh, <clears throat> oh, tonight's uh, a video brought to you by Georgian Wine. Don't ask me where I got a bottle of, from the Republic of Georgia, not the state of Georgia. Uh, a bottle of wine, I got it for my birthday from uh, someone, and uh, actually it's quite good. So here, give me one second. Someone said I should make drunk videos. Trust me, I don't get drunk, I just get mildly intoxicated. <laughs> and uh, well, let's take a look at uh, silver prices, 2171. A low at 21.58, a high at 22.16. Kind of, you know, for all intents and purposes, we're sitting at the 22 level. Based on what I'm seeing when it gets monkey hammered down to the sub-22 in the uh, Crimex markets, we'll take a look at the 24-hour markets here in a second. It's just pure. It's just these short positions trying to cover their short positions, more or less, and get out of them. And <clears throat> let's see, as Ted Butler talks about, whether they buy back into these short positions here, maybe at a higher level, maybe whatever. Uh, no less, this is just pure bullshit monkey hammering in the Crimex CME markets. Uh, platinum, sub $1,000. Surprised the shit out of me, but no less, you know what? Gold and silver guys always talk, especially the silver guys, always talk about that, you know, this monkey hammering, this bullshit manipulation provides a great opportunity to buy the real stuff at uh, really cheap prices so if you can go out there and get good prices on platinum at sub a thousand dollars we got some good prices here in the store you know we're still willing to sell at uh, reasonable levels <clears throat> and your local dealer should as well uh, platinum holy crap sub uh, sub thousand dollars in the 970 range again uh, I don't again don't see it going sub 900 like it did at one time which was really a gift to all the platinum buyers out there but let's see what happens uh, palladium, uh, oh, nice to see T, the silver stacker out there is talking about platinum more and more. Uh, T, I think it's cheap as well. Uh, keep stacking platinum, in my opinion, at these levels, as long as the premiums aren't too high. Uh, palladium, 1914, again, close to that gold market. Don't understand what's happening in palladium, especially since it was pretty much easily a thousand bucks or more higher than the price of gold for a significant amount of time. Um, man, I sound like, I feel like I sound like Elmer Fudd. <laughs> Large gap in the front of my mouth. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm my own worst critic. Well, let's take a look at the 24-hour charts here and see what's going on. Um, you know, mid-1800 level, it, it's a gift. If, it, if it's a 1850, below 1900, below 2000, it's a gift. Gold's a gift at these prices, folks. That's my opinion, of course. Uh, and again, who, who, what's my opinion? My opinion is I've been a full-time dealer doing this stuff since uh, 
uh, probably, I started working for my father in 1977 part-time after school and stuff. Uh, I think in the early 1980s when I got into it full-time, but I've been doing this a long time, buying, selling physical presents, <laughs> precious metals, all right? And I do have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. I do have an appointment with a guy that hopefully can glue my tooth back in. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> I'm having fun with this, sorry. Uh, listen, I was, I was like really, I looked at my tooth last night, I said, gosh, damn, this sucks, man. Life sucks. I'm getting old. I'm falling apart. My teeth are falling apart. Actually, I, I had the COVID and I had a sneeze so hard, I blew a freaking hernia, folks. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm thinking like, God damn, it just sucks getting old. But you know what? I think it's kind of healed up and uh, I hope it has. And uh, the hernia part of it and the... Uh, <clears throat> Because it hasn't popped out again. God, this is disgusting stuff for you young folks. You're never going to listen to me again. <laughs> but uh, you older guys, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so it's been a rough week for me. Air conditioned, roofing, hernias, uh, tooth falling out, COVID. Uh, my gosh, the fact that I'm laughing is pretty funny. Uh, so, but again, uh, this little lisp I have with my front tooth out is making me laugh. Uh, let's take a look at uh, silver prices. Well, gold prices, look, monkey hammer incurred in the, the criminal markets, which I call the CME markets. Um, I'm just over it with these guys. You know what? In my opinion, they're crooks, thieves, and liars, uh, not unlike people we have running our government, uh, whether it's officials or politicians. Same thing happen, is happening in the uh, uh, commodities markets. The people running that casino, crooks, thieves, and liars, in my opinion. Uh, let's get out of here and see where the price of silver, exactly the freaking same. Look at this. What, what are the odds of that? Uh, I mean, I know, you're saying great. You know why? Because it happens all the time. But gold and silver fundamentally are two, fundamentally <laughs> are two different things. Uh, gold, uh, uh, and, and look, they get monkey hammered at the same prime, prime time. I'm telling you that these markets are manipulated in a heavy, heavy fashion, heavy handily uh, by uh, 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 the big uh, shorts in these both markets that CME Group does nothing about in the CFTC. Ted Butler says there's four ladies that had just entered the board, and he believes that they actually genuinely uh, care about markets. So I'm hoping that the do, new board members on the CFTC start looking at the uh, criminal activities, in my opinion, and Ted's opinion, in the New York NYMEX markets and the uh, Globex overnight markets. But no less, uh, you know, they're giving you the opportunity to buy real metal at super cheap prices. Don't buy their paper bullshit. Don't buy contracts. Don't buy uh, EF ETFs. Buy the real shit, and uh, uh, and the beauty of the real stuff is there's no fees. Once you paid your premium, that's it. That's the only fee that you have to pay, other than maybe discounts when you go to sell it. Well, <clears throat> let's get into the uh, uh, stock market, which sucked freaking wind today. Uh, the U.S. Dow Jones, uh, S&P, Nasdaq, really wow. Take a look at that. Uh, futures, I think, is open right now. I'm going to do a quick refresh here and see what we got going on. When are the futures markets open? But no less, just hemorrhaged across the board. Not good. Uh, and again, I believe that there's intervention by the federal government and the uh, Fed into these markets right here. Despite that, look at the losses they're having. And the complete opposite with gold and silver. Gold and silver, I think, are hated by the government and by the Fed. And uh, uh, they've done well. They've held their own, all right? This market is not holding its own. I believe this market right here is uh, only even not collapsed because of Fed intervention and government intervention. But you know my opinion on that with the PPT group. And uh, if not, just look at some of my old videos. We can make this a long one if we want. But ZH, zero hedge. You know I like to talk about politics, economics, how that plays in the price of gold. The stupider our politicians, the stupider our government officials, the, the higher chance that gold and silver is going to go even higher. You know, the prices of gold and silver are going to go even higher. Gold and silver has always been a hedge against political and economic stupidity, and uh, we're seeing it today this as well. Uh, speaking of stupidity, right there is a good uh, reason why I'm not pointing at this poor lady. Can you imagine her taking this job? It's one of those things you've got to be real proud of. Hey, listen, I just got, you know, uh, a you know I just got appointed as a... Uh, uh, this guy's uh, uh, right here, uh, again, you know why I'm not saying it, this guy's <clears throat> press secretary, you know, what a great honor that is, really, in most any other circumstances, but except for this fucking idiot right here. <laughs> what a great honor it is, but you know what, I can't blame this lady right here, and anyone that, like, gives this lady shit, she's doing her job. Her job is to go in there and spin what this fucking idiot and his uh, minions and his people that 
uh, uh, his puppeteers tell him to say, uh, do. It's not her fault. You can't blame the people that work in these situations. It's a bad idea to do it. Uh, but no less, <clears throat> wow. <laughs> Uh, Fed's financial accounts report unexpectedly revealed terrible news for the markets. Oh, who knew that? All right, uh, no less, folks. This is why you own gold and silver. It's a security. It's a hedge against the stupidity of governments economically and politically. Uh, and uh, let's keep going down here. Uh, this is bullshit. Blaming this for the economy going down is bullshit. The only reason the economy went down is because the reactions by officials and politicians to this. They caused it, not the particular critter itself did not cause the economic issues we, cause, we have. The people that run the world cause the issues, okay? Don't you ever not believe that. <laughs> uh, nothing good here. I mean, I think we're, folks, you know, I just keep wondering and wondering when gold and silver are going to have their takeoff moment. And I just think it's going, to, it's going to surprise us all, including myself. Uh, surprises, but not surprises. We know it's going to happen. It's just a matter of when. And it's what I talked about earlier this week. People that get rich really quick, it's all about timing, being in the right place at the right time. Um, but, for, but for those of you folks that have bought gold and silver at really these prices and lower, it, as long as you don't sell into the nonsense low prices that we're seeing right now i think you're going to be very happy with hanging on to what you got i really do and uh and, and including adding to what you got but again this is my opinion take it for what it's worth uh i'm just like i'm way overdone when it comes to when i expected gold and silver to take off way earlier than this i mean i'm years and years i thought but never underestimate the power of people that have the printing press. Never underestimate the media. Never underestimate the fact that you and I, precious metals people, people that watch videos like this, are a small, small, small percent of the general public. I mean, you're, we're like uh, point zero something one percent of the general public, if that at best, that understand gold and silver, understand what the dollar really is, uh, but once a, a small segment of the population starts to understand this stuff, because of stuff like this, because of $5 and $10 gas prices, because people are going to spend time, they have the internet, they can find out really what the dollar is really worth. Why is the dollar not buying as much? Especially when you get more and more people like myself and yourself explaining it to friends and family, the word's going to get out there. Precious metals is going to take off at some point at some crazy level. <clears throat> um, uh, that doesn't surprise me, you know. Listen, you go fight for a country. Uh, <laughs> you put yourself in that position. And uh, no less, I'm not even going to go there, not even what we're here to talk about. But th the truth of the matter is, folks, bad foreign policy. This is a result of just bad foreign policy. Nothing more, nothing less. It should have never came to a war. It should never came to this. It should have been avoided a long time, except the problem is, is war is profitable. Take a look at the, what did, uh, what did uh, Eisenhower say about the military industrial complex? Well, if you want to know about the military industrial complex, greed and corruption, because don't forget that particular country, extremely corrupt. I wonder, I wonder how many uh, uh, stingers I can buy in the aftermarket for a couple thousand bucks uh, because of this whole deal as well. Not going to get into that. In fact, I'm going to move along and tell you, uh, this is like my, 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 uh, uh, a soothing thing that I'm going to do for all new gold and silver folks, new people that are buying, is show you this chart right here is why you should never, ever, ever panic about going owning gold and silver. Never. Because until you see the purchasing power of the consumer dollar going up, not down. I mean, we've got our daily gyrations. Take a look at this. One year, there's a little up right there, kind of what we're probably experiencing right now, a little up on the uh, upside. But the downward trend of the purchasing, powers, purchasing power of the consumer dollar in the U.S. average city doesn't lie. This is the official government numbers, which actually do lie because it's probably much greater than this. You see this decline, this slope right here? It's probably even a, 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 a greater uh, decline than this, folks. This is just the official numbers. This is why you will never have to worry about going, owning gold and silver on the medium and long term because overall, the farther this line goes down, the further price of gold and silver go up. The daily fluctuations, hey, don't try to figure that. Just buy the dips if you can. 
As far as what the best deals out there, definitely <clears throat> the best deals are uh, 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 bars for sure when it comes to generic bars, when it comes to gold, silver, and platinum. All the sovereign products are priced just stupidly. So stick with uh, gold bars, stick with silver bars, stick with platinum bars. You're going to get your best bang for your buck there. And if you own Silver Eagles, as you know, if you watched my video last week, sell your freaking Silver Eagles, man. Convert them into bars. You can, I, I think I did the math the other day with some guy that, you know, young guy came in with 232 ounces, 229 ounces, I'm sorry, of uh, Silver Eagles. And he walked out with... Uh, uh, what is it, 252 or 253 ounces of silver in generic form. So the man walked out with, just doing a simple trade, 20 ounces more of silver. Not 20 ounces of premium, 20 ounces of silver. Think about that. If you're sitting on a large amount of silver eagles, get rid of them. Find a good local dealer that can trade them in. And as you know, JM Bullion is the Walmart of uh, 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 Bullion Online. Atmex, S, SD, similar, a little bit smaller companies, but JM Bullion is the Walmart. And I, in South Florida, advertise to beat JM Bullion and all the local dealers down here. Um, and, I, and I encourage you, not because JM is a bad company, I think they're a great company. I actually uh, used to know one of the guys that ran Amark at one time who owns this company, but uh, um, they're a great company. However, as a local uh, uh, small brick and mortar, you know, that's what business is all about. I can go and beat their prices, and I will, and I am. And you should find a good local dealer that will do the same for you in your local area for two reasons. First off, keep the money local. Uh, once you send money to J and Bullion, wherever the hell they are, it never comes back to your community, folks. You spend money locally, it comes back in your community. You spend money at my local coin shop here in town as a South Florida uh, resident. I spend that money at the local AC guy, you know, speaking of air conditioning, now the local roofing guy, my local dentist. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? All right. Hey, that's it. Thanks for watching. This is Brian Kuzmar. And, uh, uh, man, I was going to go into yesterday's video. I got accused of uh, clickbait for saying I'm done with gold and silver. Um, by quite a few people, but if you read, if you listen to my video, you're, I wasn't done. I was talking about people that are done with gold and silver, but again, clickbait, man, I get it. On the other hand, if you don't have a good title, no one's going to watch your videos. Hey, uh, I can't really go into all the, uh, I'd like to thank everyone here. D-Man, nice to see you comment again. Everyone for commenting. I really appreciate that, but given the fact that I'm toothless, I've got a half a glass of wine to finish here, and uh, uh, I haven't eaten yet. Uh, I think I'm going to call it quits. <laughs> hey, think for yourself. Always question authority. Very powerful statement here. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, I don't need to repeat to you what it means if you've been listening to my videos for quite some time. If you're new to my videos, just listen to a few of them. You'll know what I'm talking about. Hey, thanks for watching. All of you have a great evening. Talk to you tomorrow. This is Brian Kuzma with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful Audit by the Sea. If you got any questions about precious metals and you live down here and you can do business with us, call us at 954-493-8811 between 10 and 4 Mondays through Fridays. We're brick and mortar. If you don't live in, my, in, in South Florida and you can't do business with us by coming to visit us physically, please find yourself a good local dealer. I really think it's great to do that. Hey, if he loses his tooth and you're a dentist, it's a win-win. <laughs> hey, thanks again. Have yourself a great evening, and I'll talk to you soon.